Oh, hey folks. I am continuing to install low-level stuff for my P51 on your Nix OS. Um, in the last video, I installed stuff like TLP and SSH and some other stuff. And this is about in the same spirit, more or less. Um, just f FYI, in all these videos, I'm linking in the description um, uh, a GitHub repository that has all the configuration files and steps that I'm that I'm running. So you don't have to squint at the screen uh, if you want to know more. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I have to install Firefox. Now, I made a mistake at some point, and I actually forgot to press record. <laughs> I was halfway through this this thing. So the output of NixOS Rebuild Switch may be truncated because it has to do less. It's already done some of the stuff. Uh, but just know that that I am starting from the same configuration file that I was using in the last after the last video was had ended. So um, let's do this. Vi Etsy NixOS last configuration dot Nix. All right. The reason I'm installing Firefox is because I need to show you guys something. I need to show you something. So let's say environment. All right. System packages. That's what I want. Let's do Firefox here. Firefox. All right. Next was rebuild switch. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. You notice it didn't download anything. That's because it already downloaded that stuff the last time I screwed up and saw it. But it is going to be there, I'm sure, now. Uh, Firefox. Yep. All right. So what I wanted to show you was that in the last video, I set up this thing called ACPI call by hand in the configuration.nix file and uh, it was to allow TLP to work work optimally on this laptop so but I noticed that in the Nixos hardware configuration there's there's actually a a module called acpl.call.nix that does the same thing so I'd rather just use that and if it gets updated it gets updated you know I trust the folks that are running that repository um, then there's also uh, a um, Another well, I'll just show you this. This uh, this is a, a copy. Look at this. This is a a module that represents the Lenovo ThinkPad P53, which isn't too. There's no P51 in this in this uh, in this next hardware thing, but there is a P53, and what it does is it says, okay, we want to we want to we have a Intel CPU, so if I go up to common CPU Intel, we'll see what that means. And I also want to use ACPI call here. So let's just check out just real quickly what, what both of those things mean. So I have common CPU Intel. Common CPU Intel. Default next. CPU only next. GPU Intel next. Update microcode, enable redistributed firmware. Okay, whatever. I don't know what that means, but sounds good to me. Uh, and then GPU. Intel. Huh, okay. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. This is, this may be why... Interesting. This may be why when I added... No, no, no. Hmm. Okay, well, what it means is that if I add, I, have, I add this common CPU Intel and the ACPI call stuff to the configuration.nix, my configuration.nix, I can take... I can take away my duplicate configuration of some of this stuff. VDPOW driver, okay. Okay, 
So it's adding a kernel module for i915. <clears throat> okay. I'm not sure if that's right. <laughs> what is, is this an i915? I don't know. Huh. Well, let's give it a shot. We'll give it a shot and see what happens. Um, the worst that can happen is I need to switch back to my ad hoc configuration for either ACPI call or the or the Intel uh, OpenGL stuff. So uh, let's do it. The I uh, let's see XOS configuration. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the top here, and I'm going to change this to NixOS, to add NixOS hardware, um, common, PC, laptop, laptop, ACPI, call, dot, Nix. Okay. And that, once I added that, I can go remove my ad hoc stuff, ACPI call. Yeah. Damn it. KVM Intel. I don't even know what that's for. I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to pretend it doesn't exist. <clears throat> okay. And then for the Intel stuff. NixOS hardware, common, CPU, Intel. Now we're going to look for OpenGL. Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. I guess, I guess I want to just remove what it enables, which is it, it enables VAP Intel, Intel Media Driver, but not VD PAL, not this, not this one. So I can say VD, V A A P I V D P A U. Mm-hmm. Yep. Is that right? Did I spell that right? I did. Okay. <clears throat> Other OpenGL stuff is included via NixOS. Hardware, uh, common, CPU, Intel, including Intel Media Driver, <clears throat> and VAAPI Intel. All right. stuff as if it's going to work. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, let's see. Okay, so right. So we changed our ACPI call stuff. We got rid of our ad hoc stuff for that. We added um, the Intel NixOS hardware stuff. We got rid of our ad hoc stuff that it was replicating in there. Um, I think I think why don't we why don't we do those two things? Um, I'm 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 fairly sure that the ACPI call stuff's going to work fine, um, but I don't know about this Intel stuff. So let's just stop there for now, and we'll rebuild the the world and see if we get anything. Um, rebuild. Do 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 do. <clears throat> Building OpenGL drivers. 
Uh huh. Etsy temp files. Yeah, okay. I don't know, maybe. Could be true. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to reboot the system, and I'll see if I get anything useful. And if I don't, I'm going to switch back to the to the other configuration that we had before. And, uh, hot, you know, have my tail between my legs. All right, I'll be back in a second. Well, I'm back, and it worked, so that's good. Um, let's get back to where we were. Let's see, if I go to Projects, NixOS, Third Vid, Script RST. Okay. Um, okay, so we did, oh, so we need to test, uh, uh, we, just to make sure, I'm going to test, uh, test TLP to see if this ACPI call thing is right. Discharge. Charge. Charge. Sure is. It's working fine. Good. Okay. So, later on, the, the OpenGL stuff, I don't think really matters too much for window manager stuff. I think it really matters for gaming and accelerated video and stuff. Um, so... Later on, I'm probably in a, in, a, in a future video, I'm going to install Steam, and we'll see if it still works. So, but it didn't break anything, which is good. So, okay, the next thing, uh, let me show you this. There, inside of, inside of this um, default next thing, inside of the P53 default next, uh, there is a services throttle D enable. And um, from what I understand, I, there's a page about about this in, in the Arch Linux wiki. Um, I don't get their URLs parsing right in here to the copy. Uh, what? 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 Ah, uh, God, it's irritating. Copy. Copy. Okay. So, what they say is that due to wrong configured power management registers, the CPU may consume a lot less power than under Windows. And thermal throttling starts to occur at 80 degrees Celsius instead of 90 degrees when using Windows. And they have a link to the T480S. Um, so there are two solutions in this Arch Linux wiki. One is to use ThermalD, a particular version of ThermalD, and a particular version of Linux, and that says that fixes it. Or to use, and it says alternatively, a package has been written to address it problem until Lenovo completes the OS agnostic, agnostic fix for the X1 Carbon 6. Um, so there are, I'm going to make two assumptions here. Uh, that the people who, who were doing this this for the P53 knew what they were doing. And it's not just for this Carbon X1 Carbon Gen 6. It is, it is actually for multiple ThinkPad models, including the P53. Um, and uh, my other assumption is that the T480S is older than the P51. That may be incorrect. Um, let's see, four years ago, well, yeah, it could be. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this solution, this using ThermalD, um, and presume that this, this bug, this throttling bug, um, is 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 relevant to my system and i the reason i'm doing this is because if you go to so it says a, a, as a thermal d243 in linux 512 it appears to be just enough to use thermal d with no further work so i know i'm i'm using 515 linux 515 and inside of search.nixos.org if i search for thermal d uh, it is version 249, so the 
version that it was fixed in is 243, so that should work, whatever it's doing. Um, now, I could just use throttle D like the like this thing does, but it seems the way I read this anyway um, is that thermal D is the better solution and throttle D is a stopgap thing. So why not use thermal D? That is my that's my reasoning. I'm I'm sticking I'm sticking to it. We're gonna we're gonna use thermal D. Etsy in it. Nope, I see. Etsy XOS configuration X. Okay, so in order to do that, um, we are going to put thermal D in here. Thermal D. And then I'm going to enable the service. Thermal D service. Services. Thermal D enable. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this on this. This is just a joke. I'm not ready to use this. Um, okay. So our file is getting seriously smaller as we learn more. Very good. Sudo mixOS rebuild. Switch. See if we get thermal D. Yep. Cool. ESX, WW, Graph Thermal, Therm, indeed, Thermal D, it is running, maybe it will, maybe it will help, <laughs> yeah, alright, so we did that, we've done all this stuff, um, before I was, very, like the last video I ran, I in, in, uh, imported the generic ThinkPad module into my hardware configuration from NixOS hardware. And when I ran NixOS Rebuild, it did a lot of stuff that I did not expect. It rebuilt NVIDIA drivers and, and other stuff. So I went and checked to see if, okay, like when I added a channel, when I added this, this um, uh, NixOS channel, I did like NixOS channel add and then a URL, but uh, what I added what is, it? is it not Nixos channel? Uh, what? Nixos. What? Nix. Nix channel. Okay, yeah. Sudo next channel uh, list. Uh, this is the URL I used to add the channel, and if you notice, it has master tardy gz at the end. And these other channels are specific to this release, like 2205. So I went to see if there was a 2205 version of Nixos hardware. There is not. There's only the master. So. I don't, I don't quite know what if there's if this there's a pattern or I'm a bit lost, <clears throat> but I think I think the way it's working is that NixOS hardware there's only a there's only the master there there is not it's not versioned along with the release schedule. Um, that would be very strange because I'm sure it'll change, but that's what that's the assumption I'm going with right now. If you know different, let me know. <laughs> Uh, so I still don't have any real great understanding of why it rebuilt so much stuff, and it, it it's, it's still bothering me. So, but I'm not gonna do anything about it right now. Okay, so I want to check if there's a different version of Nixos. Oh, I just did that, 
Uh, does an external monitor work? Nope, uh, it does not. Uh, not in offload mode. So uh, when I say offload mode, I'll show you what I mean. Let's see, Nix OS configuration, Nix. Um, right now, we are in hybrid. The, the BIOS is, this, for this Optimus GPU setup is in hybrid mode, which essentially means that it it's using the Intel drivers. Uh, let's go to the settings. We'll see that more or less it thinks that we're running only on Intel drivers. Oh, man. Yep, Intel Mesa Intel. Um, when I switch this from offload to sync, if I do this, uh, it will ignore the Intel GPU. I think what it's going to do is ignore the Intel GPU and run only on the uh, dedicated NVIDIA GPU. And I'm going to see. I'm going to see if multiple monitors work in that configuration. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to. Oops, I'm going to do that right now. Rebuild. <clears throat> and if it works, great. Um, that's not the greatest solution, but it's a good enough solution for now, uh, for me, anyway. Because um, I'm actually not going to hook this up to another monitor in the meantime. I just wanted to see if it worked. So, uh, all right. So I'm going to shut this off. I'll be right back. I'm back. And indeed, now if you notice, uh, the graphics processor switched to Quadro, which is the NVIDIA graphics card. And I'm going to try to plug in this external monitor I have. This is tempting the demo gods, I'm sure. I don't know what OBS is going to do about this, but we'll see. We'll see. It's going to work. Can't get it in the hole. That's what she said. Let's see. Um, seriously, I can't. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> All right. Let's configure display set. Oh no, it popped up. Yep, it does work. Excellent. Okay, so in Intel mode, I could not get the other monitor to to come up, but in in video mode, in sync mode, anyway, um, we can see that that in, in 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 Intel mode, I saw both of these. I just just nothing displayed on the on the external screen. So um, very cool, very cool. Okay, well, you know the answer to that. If you, as far as I understand, if you want to run multiple monitors, you're gonna to have to run in uh, sync mode. Or, yeah, you're gonna to have to run in sync mode. Get it? Got it? Good. All right. Let's take a look at... Ooh, that's, that's not good. <laughs> Let's take a look at projects. XOS third vid. Script. Okay. So, PowerTop. Let's install PowerTop and see what PowerTop says about our config. New window. Oh, in the window. Okay. Do we I at the next of us? Last configuration. Next. Um. Power top. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to install it. Power top. All right. Power top. Mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. So you do XOS rebuild switch. <clears throat> All right. Getting there, getting there. Power top. Very 
good. That's tenable. Okay, so it's good. Some of the things are enabled. I don't know what I would need to. I don't actually know whether. Hmm. I'm going to have to look on my either Ubuntu or Manjaro machines to see which one of these things. I th it seems to me I remember more things being able to be be switched from bad to good and without impacting anything but I don't remember which so I think some some work must be done in order to get the best battery life out of this thing uh, whether that's I don't know I don't know what that is <laughs> we'll have to figure it out in any case I think that's it for this video um, I think in the next video I'm going to probably move up a level and start configuring actual files in my home directory and maybe whew, maybe try home manager we'll see all right thanks for watching